Astro. What is Astro? Here in this presentation of this video, I'm going to show you and discuss my bullet pointed list of what Astro does and what it is. So let's get started. Key futures of Astro. Static site generation. Astro allows for the generation of static sites, which improves performance and enables faster loading times. So if you ever went on an Astro website or you've tried out Astro yourself, you can see that obviously has faster loading times and improves performance, right? And the key fundamental here is that Astro, in my opinion, and from, well, not, it's a fact, not really an opinion, is that it's faster than any other web framework. And we can see this through the results when you load up uh, the web page and it loads instantly and the static HTML delivers. And on the server side, you can have it render other components specifically like the sidebar or the header, whatever the case is. This is also a component based architecture framework, which allows you to make easy reuse of managing components across different pages. It's exactly like Next.js and every other kind of framework like Vue and Svelte and all the other frameworks out there, right? Built-in optimization tools. Astro comes with built-in optimization tools such as automatic code splitting and lazy loading to optimize performance of web applications. That's pretty impressive, I must say. All right, next. So here we go. Installation instructions. Getting started with Astro. So open up your terminal if you're on a Mac, whatever the case is. You want to type in Astro version. But if you don't have Astro, go to their main website, or you can do npm install Astro just like that. But the basic basic setup is to create a new directory for your Astro and then run the dev right and get started. But you can do that on your own. I'll do that in the next video kind of to show you what Astro is really about and showcase my own project, I guess. Building components in Astro. So on the right, forget all the text. On the right, you can see that's what a uh, basic example of the folder and file structure of Astro itself. You can see there you've got the images folder, you've got the layouts folder, default of Astro, you've got the pages folder, you've got the home page, and the home page is actually the index right very basic setup and uh, they use pages right so it's like pages router right kind of similar to next.js uh, but next.js has uh, app router now which is a lot better anyways we're not talking about next.js here astro components are written with the dot astro file extension which you can actually uh, install in vs code and other various text editors um, the syntax for astro is similar to html and Astro components include basically just a markup of HTML and CSS and JavaScript coding, programming. And uh, the structure of it is, as you can see, like I said on the right, the template section include Astro specific syntax uh, and rendering. Um, script section, which contains JavaScript code, component, logic, and interactivity. And that's about, basically about it. Anyways, optimization right now, bundle size, reduction. It actually removes unused uh, dependencies in code to reduce the overall abundance size, which is pretty interesting. And also, <laughs> dude, sorry, also splitting techniques, right? Um, improving page load times. Oh yeah, this is interesting. Implement server-side rendering to pre-render pages on the server-side and deliver them fully formed HTML to the client, reducing the initial page load time. So if you um, if you didn't understand anything I just said there, uh, basically what that means is improves, it's basically the top title here, right? It improves the page load time. So basically it improves how fast the page loads, right? So on the client, it renders on the server, it pre-renders the pages, right? Reducing the initial page load time. The more you experience with Astro on your own little project, you can understand uh, what I'm talking about, just like how you work with other frameworks as well, like Next.js, similar. Leverage caching mechanisms, sorry, mechanisms, sorry for yelling, such as CDN caching, browser caching, store and serve static assets, reducing the need for repeated requests, and also minify uh, and compress CSS and JavaScript files to reduce their file size and improve loading times. Pretty amazing stuff. Now, integrating data and uh, APIs in Astro. So it's pretty, it's basically the same thing, you know, 
so don't really need to go through that. Uh, deploying Astro ap applications, uh, any traditional uh, web host or web service like Netlify, Versa on AWS, um, I would recommend uh, if you're a beginner, go for Net Netlify or Versal. Okay, to be honest, go for Versal. Okay, <laughs> that's just that's just a fact. Go for Versa. Okay, uh, cons consider the scalability, yeah, cost factors, and choosing a hosting provider. I would go for Versal. Um, development workflows. Astro applications can be deployed using different workflows depending on the hosting platform and development process. Obviously, continuous integrations, uh, updates, etc. Anyways. Astro best practices follow modular approach. Just read documentation, you know. Uh, if you know anyone who is an Astro developer or who works with Astro or you watch YouTubers who do Astro development and work, stuff like that, uh, just like how I will be doing it later on this channel, uh, hopefully, which I'm curious and more interested in to this uh, framework. And yeah, so collaborate with them and understand how they write their code. And get some help in developer communities, dev communities online, you know, on Reddit, uh, Discord, um, online communities, Circle, whatever community, online community, even just regular communities, go in there and talk, get advice, you know, learn, be a sponge, absorb. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. That was Astro, and I'll see you in the next. Peace.